Welcome back to Python Structured Programming. In this lesson, we're going to focus on functions and parameters. Okay, so to recap, a function is a subpart or routine which is self-contained. So if you look at the this program, you've got the input numbers, which simply gets numbers from users and puts it into a list. You've then got the add numbers, which simply adds the numbers together and puts it in the variable total. They then have the function uh, output, which outputs the total. And then the final function, which brings it all together, is the input numbers, add numbers, and output total, which is run from that main function. We also have the global variables, which exist at the top, and they are defined for the whole program. Then you have the local variables, which exist within the functions, and they are only accessible within the function. Global variables can be a problem if you have many of them. So for example, in a very complex problem, you could get confused between what is local and what is global, leading to potential bugs in your program. So if we look at this program, we've got here the total variable, which exists within the function add numbers. Now, we don't know the difference between the total global and the total local, so we have to define it in Python using the command global. This is confusing, particularly if you have lots of variables. So to try and solve this problem, we use what we call parameters and we pass parameters from one function to another. So let's look at function parameters. So what is function parameters? Well, let's take this example program. So we have a function here called add 10 and we take the value of X as the parameter. And then we're going to take that X and add 10 to it. And then we are will, once we've added 10, we will print the contents of the uh, variable x and we will use a special command called the return, which will basically return the value of x from where it was called from. So let's run the rest of the program. So we set value to zero, as you can see here. We then set value to wherever the function add 10 will return. So we will call the function add 10 with the contents of value, which is currently zero. So as you can see in the program here, the value of is zero. So we send zero to the function add 10. So X now becomes zero. We then take X, which is zero, and we add 10 to it, as you can see. We will then print the contents of X to the screen using print inside a function. Remember, it's a local variable, so it will con print the contents of 10 to the screen. We will then use the command return to return the value of x from where it was called from. So x will now be returned back down to where it was called from, which will in turn be assigned back to the variable value. So value will now equal 10. So now you can see how useful parameters are in functions and we can pass different values to different functions and return different values. So let's look back at the program we were doing earlier to see how we can incorporate parameters and remove all global variables. So here we have the program in its entirety. We have removed both global variables, numbers and total and put inside the function. So if you look at the first function, input numbers, we have defined the numbers list as a local lit variable. We then collect the input from the user as normal, and then we return the numbers at the bottom. So we go back to where this function was called from at the bottom. So that numbers list will be returned here and be assigned to another numbers list within the main function. We then use that list as a parameter in the add numbers function to pass to the add numbers function, use it as set of numbers. Total is then set to the sum of those numbers and we would then return the total back to the main function from where it was called from. That is then assigned to the sum total variable, which is then used as a parameter on the output total function, which calls the output total function, which will in turn run and print out the total and then we'll finish the end program. So as you can see, this is a much better way of removing global variables so we can see exactly which variables exist within each function and how they the variables are returned. 
So in summary, structured programming is taking a problem and breaking it down into sub parts. In Python, these sub parts are replaced using functions. And functions may or may not have parameters. These parameters may be received and or returned. So hopefully that will give you a basic idea of how to structure your next program. Thank you for watching.